Hello, everybody. Welcome to Recon. It's Monday, May 6th. And you know, there's always something special about every day. We have something double special today. I will tell you that this was the day back in 1994 that the English Channel opened. Now, what does it have to do with Recon? Well, it's just another way to get somewhere. And you know what? When you practice your conversations, especially when you work on your quiz, uh, questions and you're listening, you'll find another way to get to the destination you're going to. Now, let me ask you, this is a riddle. Who knows the answer to this? When you think of Willy Wonka, what do you think of? Chocolate, right? And when you, think of, when you think of conversations, I'll tell you what, Monica Reynolds is the Willy Wonka of conversations. And <laughs> if we had, if she were to tell us a little bit about herself, she would take the whole 30 minutes. Monica is oh, our I'm first good. celebrity recon member, was vice president of MAPS, and I've known her for like for a, forever. And welcome, Monica. You're our first celebrity. And you know what? We're going to sit at your feet and learn today. Well, thank you for that. So Denny had texted me. He said, are you comfortable talking about the NAR thing? Well, of course I am. So let me just share a couple of things with you. You have to have a very specific written out value proposition for buyers and for sellers. It has to be very specific written out. Most people are visual. There's not a lot of people when you think about the disc personality, the D will look at it and go, okay, good, good, good. The I's will go, oh, look at this. And the S's will do the same thing. The C's really want to see it. So you have to have the visuals. Like, here's my value proposition. Here's what we deliver, our team does. You got to be really clear about that. So, you know, again, if you want a copy of what I've written on the buyer and seller value prop, you can email me at monica at kw.com. It's real simple, monica at kw.com. And I'll send it to you. The second thing is you've got a role play and internalize and there's nothing this to me it's like okay what's wrong with telling about talking about cooperative compensation and that all fees are negotiable why wouldn't we say that in the beginning anyway and so when you have a great presentation there's a no objection to the fees if you have a great seller value proposition there's no objection to the fees and no objection to giving a cooperative compensation and so it's just stating how that's being done. As far as the buyer's concerned, you have to start immediately now when you can ask the question, have you heard about the recent real estate rulings? Great, the first step for us to get together and let me go over the buyer agency contract. It is, it is imperative that we discuss that. Well, just show me the house. I'm sorry, legally, we have to have an agreement that I can show you the house and that I will be compensated. So you have to be really strong and you have to be really clear. What is your value prop? And you got to hold fast. I think it's great that we don't show a house, you know, unless we've got a, a document signed, a buyer broker agreement. I think it's awesome. It'll help you stay in control of that buyer. Now that buyer may say, well, I just want a one, one day showing. Great. So what this document says is if you show, see a house today that I show you, you agree to work with me. I mean, you you can't believe over the years. And I know Denny's been caught on this probably, too. You know, in the past, you know, long time ago, before I said no one's showing anything without a buyer broker agreement, I get to the house, show it on a Sunday night at 730. And they go, I love it. We're buying it. My mother's going to write the offer. She sells like one house a year, you know, in a different county. And I'm going, oh, that's just great. Not doing that again. So be very clear that they understand that you will be writing the offer of the properties that you're showing them homes to and that the seller is clear that you're representing them. OK, anything else on that, Denny? No, I figured why don't we do this as role play. So why don't we do a role play on that? So Joe Barnes, you've got your hand up. You're sitting at a table now. And actually, you uh, want to go look at a house, and you're uh, having a conversation with Monica. Let's see the role play in action. Now, Monica, you, you don't have to be a marshmallow. You can push back a little bit. She can take it. Role plays typically allow two minutes. You're at the table. Go, Joe. Hi, Monica. Um, I'd love to get working on this for you right now. Are you ready to put me to work? Um, you know, um, I, I know I heard on the news that I don't have to pay a brokerage fee. So I'm not clear why I'm thinking about paying a brokerage fee for a buyer agent. Fair enough. What's important about not paying a brokerage fee to you? 
Well, I want to net more money. Okay, that's three fair enough. Or so more back in my pocket, and that's my my you know equity in my house. I want it back. That makes sense. Um, now, the reason we're talking right now is you're looking for someone to help you buy a house, right? Oh, yes. Okay. I'm, I think I'm, she was thinking she was a seller. I, but that's was, right. I thought I was a seller. Oh, sorry. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Going, that's right. Keep going down the seller road. She's a seller. She does not want to pay a buyer's fee. Okay. Yeah, I understood and, okay. what she said, but, you know, I have the option, right? I don't need to pay that. Fair enough. And uh, you're looking, remind me, why are we selling this house right now? Um, I'm moving to Arizona and retiring. And, okay. And how soon do you need to be there? I'm flexible. Okay. Um, when we put this property out to market, one of three things is going to happen. And we can um, we can go over that right now. Or, or oh, shoot. Um, so first thing that could happen is it's going to sell. Second thing, it might sell. Third thing is that it really won't sell and um i assume you want to make sure this sells right well of course i'm going to go through all this work and want it to sell okay so if we're not offering a buyer compensation do you think that might affect your results uh yeah but can't you just sell it sure if the, someone shows up who's unassisted and if they do show up unassisted do you think there might be some risk there yeah, I I don't know what you mean by unassisted. Time. Oh, you mean minutes. two minutes. So, Monica, do you want to give him some feedback? Well, I think, you know, you always go back when somebody wants to not pay a brokerage fee. You have to be really clear and say, and I use the word Joe and you did a great job because I gave you some hard scrambles there. Um, you always want to go. I respect that, you know, and and then you're going to say, tell me what's important important about not paying a brokerage fee and not marketing it to globally, not marketing it globally to agents to come and show your property with compensation. So I isolate that, you know, following this rules here. And I want you to hear though, you have to get really clear. Let me go back to the value proposition. The more exposure that I can do for your home, the more agents would be excited about your property, making it more competitive so that everybody wants to go and show it. If there's no compensation, which is, you know, I respect if you feel that you want to do that, then there is absolutely no reason for an agent to be excited to tell their buyer prospects about your property. They obviously need to be compensated for their work. Don't you agree? So then I would do a tie down. So what I hear you saying, now here's the second part of it. You want to get to Arizona and you want to net this amount of money. So let's agree that if we market your home at this price, this would net you in that range. Is that right, Joe, if we market your home at this price? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay, good. So the bottom line for you is you want to net, you know, 200,000. That's what you said to me. You want to net that amount. Yeah. So, so I'm asking you to consider, just consider giving a fair compensation to a buyer agent to be excited to show your property and i will work very very hard to get you that net for sure and it's market it's the market and it's interest rates and everything else but right now i feel confident that we can absolutely get you close to that number so would you agree to a cooperative compensation so uh yeah okay that's one uh, second, I think uh, Louise, you're watching the hand. So uh, we're gonna. Who is up next, uh, Louise, for uh, Monica? What's like? Um, no, let's go to Don. Don has got his hand. What up. am I, a buyer or a seller? You are a you are an agent. I wanted to go a little deeper. Oh, on that. I'm the agent, huh? Okay, you're fine. The, well, yeah, you're a great agent. Hey, you're at Don, the table. Don and I go back forty something years, probably. Don, you know me. I okay, fine. <laughs> but back to the Roosevelt administration, I think. So, yeah, pretty much. So, Monica, sure. Maureen, and I, Maureen and I have done a lot of looking into this, and we've I think we've studied this NAR. I think you call it the NAR settlement. So we know we don't have to pay. A buyer agent fee, and we want to work with you because we know you. Can't, can't we just work with you and and not worry about paying a buyer agent at all? Can't you just sell it? 
You know, I appreciate that, Don. And you know my value proposition. You know what we offer as a team. And you know how hard we work to find you off-market properties. So according to the National Association of Realtors, that settlement, we have to have an agreement of a buyer-broker agreement. And in that buyer broker agreement, hopefully in most cases right now, over 99% right now, the seller's agreeing to compensation. All I'm asking for you to consider is if the compensation is not there and it's a home you want to see, you want me to represent you, you want me to negotiate, you want me to close the transaction, to be at all of the inspections, therefore I have to charge a fair fee. Right. And we have no problem hiring you to do all that to represent us as a seller, Monica. I just don't really want to, I don't see the value in those other agents that are out there selling one house a year. Can't you and your team just sell it, sell it yourself and, and help us out that way? I'm going to pause. No, I'm sorry. Hang on, hang on, Monica. I'm going to pause one second and I'll stop the clock. This is where I think he's going. And I've heard this before. I think he's wanting you to pay a listing fee and then and for you then to find a buyer and not charge any more than a listing fee. Is that where you're coming from, Don? Yes, I'm sorry. I wasn't clear on that. Yes. So they want you to do the whole package for one one half of the fee. So yes. all right, back to you, Monica. I'm sorry, Don. I can I understand where you're coming from. However, we have a company team policy that how hard we work for to help you find the best house at the best price with the least amount of inconvenience. This is what we charge. Any other questions? Great. Let's well, sign the contract. Just, you paused too I, long. I can't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bottom every... line is. Yeah, but the bottom line, Don, and when you're strong about your conviction yeah. and just say, according to NAR, I have to have a representation that I'm representing you as a buyer and I'm representing the seller. If you're asking me to do that, we legally have to have compensation in case there's any kind of challenges. Oh, scratch that. Don't say that. Nope, nope, don't say that. Just say, legally, we have to be absolutely declared your buyer agent. Therefore, we do everything we can to find you off-market properties, the right deal at the right time for you with absolutely the best price possible. Sign here. Yeah, she did. She didn't bring up the wicked three, but I'll give her slack on that. Who's next, I, Louise? What's the wicked three? I saw um, I saw you smile, Danny, when she said that. I saw you smile. We're not allowed what's to that? Use, the wicked three here, the, the most money, least hassle in the shortest amount of time. That's the wicked three. That's a no-no. Right. Well, I did. That's a no-no. Absolutely, unless you know they want to sell it in the shortest amount of time. Don't use that word. Don't use that that language. Well, it's based on pricing. I, you don't understand. I already grinded him on the price. He's going to get multiple offers. <laughs> oh, she okay. did. Now we're talking about listening to too low. All right. So <laughs> Monica's up next. Who's up with the Monica? Who's in the ring with Monica? Louise. Uh, we have Jenica. Jenica. Hey, are you are you the agent or a buyer or seller, and you have Monica to spar with? Um, I'll be I'll be the agent, and Monica, you decide. You want to be a buyer or a seller? Uh, let's be a seller. Okay. Two minutes. Go. Okay, Monica. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. So after everything that we've gone over, are you ready to put me to work? Well, I think I want to sleep on the the compensation that you're talking about to the buyer agent because I was under the impression that I was going to net more money in my pocket and not have to pay for a buyer agent to show my home. So what you're saying, I understand. I just need to sleep on it now. Okay. I can respect that. Besides compensation, is there anything else that's stopping you from hiring me today? No, that's it. Basically, I understand your plan. It looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. And um, I'm sorry. So what is it about specifically about the compensation that is holding you back? Well, I just had it in my mind. I didn't have to pay. And now you've changed my thinking to think about it. And, um, you know, it's all about me netting more money. And the way the news is portrayed it is that sellers can net more money and don't have to pay for a buyer to see their home. Yeah, they have portrayed it that way. If we were able to show you how we could still net you the same amount of money while still offering compensation to the other side, would that work for you? Yeah, how are you going to do that? 
So based on our pricing strategy and marketing strategy, we feel like the way that you'd be positioned in the market, we'd still be able to get you your net while still offering that compensation to the other side. Because we feel like we'd be able to bring in more buyers that would be have eyes on your house because their agents would know they're being compensated. Well, why don't you call me in the morning? Okay. And if in the morning, okay, <laughs> we can stop. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, that one, they all, you know, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard mm -hmm. that before where they say, well, let me still sleep on it. So the way mm -hmm. I, you did a great job by the way, but what I mm -hmm. do, Jenica, is that when they say, I want to, you know, sleep on it. And I said, you know, it's the old, sorry, it's the old one that uh, two heads are better than three heads are better than one. And so mm -hmm. let's, let's talk a little bit about what you're going to sleep on. And mm -hmm. you said you wanted to net this much money. Will that make you feel comfortable if you can net around this range? I can't promise, but this is our target, correct? And then are you comfortable with the contract that we have here that blah, 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 blah. Yes. Are you comfortable with my marketing? Yes. And I go, great. Have a great night's sleep. Let's agree to work together tonight. You've agreed on everything. Sign here. So you start okay. isolating every single thing. Okay. Yeah. And I could have gone back to motivation too. Like what's important to you about the net and then wrap that back in to where they're going or what's next yeah. for them. Yeah, for sure. I was, for sure. I was giving you the hand because you did a great job. Let's not forget. You said other than that, you went right to the isolation, something that Monica had talked about. Remember, don't be get into these deep discussions if that's not really the issue. Isolate. And again, we only have two minutes. We don't have a lot of time. While we're taking this commercial break, Monica, I want to give you props. We have more people on recon right now than ever since the history of the Earth, planet Earth. And that's because yeah, Lee. And it's Monday morning. I better sh show up and give them what they need, right? Second announcement is this Thursday for Keller Williams is Red Day. So we will not be having a recon this Thursday. So mark your calendars. And speaking number three, the calendar, we have been sending out links to you each and every day. So we're not going to do that anymore. Go ahead. On that link we sent out, you can add that to your calendar or do whatever you need to do to remember how to get on here. And you're going to have to log on individually. It's all free still. They're just We're trying to clean up the role. So that's the last little announcement. We'll get right back to it. Who is so, that? Denny, let me circle, Denny, let me circle back because I want all of you to hear this. Is that this NAR thing is not a big deal. Don't make it a big deal. Lean into it. All we're doing is being totally transparent on cooperative compensation. <clears throat> all we're doing is saying all fees are negotiable. Here's a menu of my services. I have agents in my coaching schedule right now that are charging 4% as a listing fee because these are all the things that they do. They charge 3% if they do these things. And so charging that 4%, they're staging, they're doing a home inspection up front. And then of course they have a clause that all those fees would be reimbursed if the home didn't sell. So get really clear and passionate. And it's really great to just, you know, being totally transparent. A lot of states have been that way before and some haven't, and we all got caught up in this no matter what. You agree, Denny? Agree. And let's, not forget, let's not forget, the. I'm hearing some statements. I want to hear you guys ask questions. When you can start talking about net, I don't. I want to make sure you ask questions. That's going to make them think. All right, Louise, who is Monica's next opponent? Garrett is going to ask Monica some questions, I'm sure. Garrett, what is the scenario? Garrett, are you agent or customer? I'm going to be the customer. I'm going to give her a little bit of a zinger. We're sitting at the table. And um, I'm not uh, ready to sign yet. So you're a seller? Correct. You're okay. at the table. All there. right. So Garrett, I, I can respect that. So let me ask you a question. What's causing you to hesitate tonight? Well, we have a couple other interviews with some other agents. And one of the agents I think we're probably going to go with, even though you have a really good track record, Monica, She's the expert in the community, and we're thinking about going with her. May I ask you who that is? Yeah, it is uh, Jen Davis. Great. Jen does a great job, too. So tell me why you feel she's the expert. Well, she sold multiple homes in here. I th think if we, when we looked you up, you've only sold a couple homes. She sold uh, about six or seven homes in the last year, and and she is the go-to person in this neighborhood. 
Yes, you know, she is a great buyer's agent. She works with buyers. You do agree with that, right? That she brings the buyer. Yeah, well, she was the listing agent, but um, I don't know if she's bringing the buyer or not. Gosh, we you know, look into that. yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't want to disagree with you. I just want to share with you that Jen Davis is a great buyer agent. That is her strength zone. Okay. We are listing. We represent the seller. We know how to negotiate at the highest level for you. We know how to market the property. Our marketing is extremely extensive for a listing. And Jen is a great buyer agent. Nothing wrong with that. That is her strength zone. And so what we do is we work really, really strong with Jen and all the other agents that sell property in this area. So I highly recommend you consider us because we're basically working with all the buyer agents. And now your property is going to be exposed at the level you deserve. Is there anything else keeping us from working together tonight? Well, I mean, doesn't she do the same even though she's more of a buyer's agent? Well, there is an expertise. <clears throat> we are listing agents where we market your property and we go to, you know, over 300 different websites. Time. and then Two okay. minutes. So I would go back into my value proposition before Denny interrupted me. And I'd say, let me share with you what we do. So I would, you know, and I don't ever want to disagree. And I say, you know, I don't mean to disagree. I apologize for that. However, Jen is a great buyer agent. She rarely represents sellers. And I would I would drill that in. I thought you were going to say she's a great agent for a young person, young whippersnapper or something like that. <laughs> no, so, I would well, be the listing agent. The interesting thing, though, and, and here's a question that popped in my mind, and I don't know if you were waiting for this. Uh, so you already have kind of decided to go with Jen Davis. I would ask the question to you, Garrett, why am I here? We wanted to get a second opinion. So does that mean you really weren't 100% sold on Jen Davis? Uh, no, I mean, we weren't 100%, but uh, we're, we're thinking about going that way, but we just wanted to make an educated decision before we did. Well, if she sold six homes in this area over that length of time, and I've sold 60 homes in, the, in, in a little bit larger area, which one do you think is a stronger listing agent? I'd have gone down that road, whatever. And yeah, um, you know, you brought up, Denny, you brought up another great um, objection handler and, and you always go, I appreciate that. And let me share something with you. The buyer normally doesn't come from the neighborhood. And when right. you have a neighborhood realtor, you're not going to be have the exposure. I sell 60 homes outside the area. Your buyer likely 90% of the time is coming from outside the area. So you'd want to hire me to market your home outside the area. Gives me goosebumps to hear that. She's spot on. Okay, who's next? We've got time for another one. Who is it, Louise? Well, I'm ready to sign my, my contract with Monica. Um, <laughs> and Tanner, Tanner is next. Tanner, okay. Tanner you can you identify or... your role, please? Yes, please. What are you? No, I'd like to be the agent. All right. And then Monica is what? Uh, a seller. Hey. Seller at the table. Go. Okay. Monica, uh, after everything, you know, are you ready to hire me to help you with this move? Uh, you know, I like what you said. I think I'm just going to take a few days and kind of mull things over. I understand. Can you just help me understand about that real time that you need? What was it that really did not give you the confidence or? Uh, just, you know, um, just making the final decision to sell my house and to use you. And I just, I need to hear what you were saying about everything. I'm just not ready to, to move forward tonight. Okay. Typically, it's 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 one of one of like the three things that we find people no, normally hesitate. It's the fee, the the you know, it's our marketing or the price. So, is it one of those? Yeah, it is. And which one it is, if you don't mind asking? Um. Well, it's the fee. Okay. Okay. So, what what is it about the fee? Exactly, that concerns you. Well, 
I have a friend who said that they've got a friend who's an agent that will list it for 1%. Okay, so if we agree to that fee, you would move forward with me tonight? Well, yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay, and I respect it, but what do you know about how the fee works actually in this uh, transaction? Well, how does it how does it work? I mean, do you know anything how it works? No, how does it work? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So typically typically time. Yeah. I got it. Whoa, you're you're gonna get in a cul-de-sac there, Monica. Break it down for us. Huh. Well, first of all, you're you got to speak more confidently. And the second thing that I I really heard was that you you need to know your value proposition. You need to really be clear about great. Thank you for asking. Let me go through what we do to get your home sold for top dollar. And an agent who's charging 1% does not have the wherewithal, the bandwidth, the time, or the money to market your home as it should be. The more people we market it to, the more exposure you have, the more opportunities. Hopefully, we can even get multiple offers. No promises, but that's the goal. So you've got to just be really clear and confident and, and just say, let me share with you again our, what our value prop is. So again, you guys email me at Monica KW. I'll send you that value prop. You've got to know your value prop. You got to know why that guy charged 1%. He does nothing but puts a sign up. When you charge your 3% or whatever it happens to be, these are all the things that you do to get that home sold. And by the way, guys, when you take a listing, you have to have a mindset that you get a buyer out of that listing, you get a seller out of that listing, and you get a referral from that, that uh, seller. And so those are the key things when you're thinking about this. Those are total of four transactions, not three, not, not one, sorry, four with it being sold. Thank you. Appreciate the feedback. We, we have a one, we have one minute left to go, Monica, anything you want to do a demonstrate or somebody, I know that Dr. Lauren was up. Do you have a, a minute and 30 second role play for her, Dr. Lauren? Yes, I would do a for unassisted, unprotected seller at the table. That's at the table, all right. My assistant seller, Monica, you are the buy owner. Go. All right. Um, after we viewed everything today, Monica, are you ready to move forward with me and get your home on the market? Well, could I just uh take a minute? You call me in the morning. Uh, you know, you had some great information. I love meeting you. It's just that I have a rule that if I'm gonna do anything, I need the 24 hours to think through it again. I've made some mistakes before. Hmm, okay, I can certainly appreciate that. And what's important to you about that 24 hour timeline? Um, it has to feel good. Has to feel good. Okay, can you tell me a little more about that? I just feel that you're the right person. This is the right time. This is the right thing to do. And I got to get all my ducks in a row. After listening to you, um, I got to get my ducks in a row in my head. Okay. Okay. I, I can certainly appreciate that. And, and again, thank you so much for, for, you know, saying that you feel good with everything that we talked about today. How about we go about, go ahead and do this. Cause I understand you want to wait that 24 hours. Why don't we go ahead, get the paperwork signed today. Uh, you keep a hold of it and then uh, 24 hours. So tomorrow I'll come by again. And, and since you're going to be solid at that point, I'll go ahead and pick the paperwork up and we can get started and, and getting your home uh, orchided. How does that work? And I could call and say, tear it up. You could also call and say, tear it up. Absolutely. That is completely up to you. Okay, fine. So I'm agreeing to that because of time, but if you can get them to do that and then say, I absolutely will honor if you decide not to do that. All we're doing tonight is saving a lot of valuable time. May I go through the contract with you now? So I immediately start closing like that. Does that make yep. sense? Absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Good job, Dr. Lauren. It's, Good job. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you guys. That is awesome. We all will give you guys a, a Monica a hand. Thank you so much for being our first and best celebrity. Monica has agreed to come back. We'll figure out when that's going to be. I'll Email. come back next Monday. I'll come back Monday for this month if you want me, Denny. You'd have to beg me, though. Uh, all right. May well, Mondays with Monica. May Mondays we'll with Monica. We'll take a vote. So remember, you guys, remember the link. So you, you won't get a reminder. So set your alarm. Put it on your calendar. You know the bold law. And Monica will be back. And we're going to call it Mondays with Monica. 
for the month of May. There's a lot of M's there. So y'all be careful out there. <laughs> Love you, meet it. Knuckle bump. We'll see you tomorrow. Be Thanks, good. everybody. Bye. Bye.